Hello everyone, I'm back with a new topic and um, this is dynamics of markets, uh, demand relationships and we are focusing on the substitutes. Okay, what are substitute goods? These are the goods or services that consumers consider to be fundamentally the same or equal to one another. And what do we mean by that? We have goods that have a similar purpose. Goods that you cannot consume at the same time. Now, I've got substitute goods here. Formal shoes and casual shoes. I mean, there is no way that you can put on both the formal shoes and the sneakers at the same time. You have to take one. So these are substitute goods. Right. You need to understand that a demand curve is downward sloping. It slopes downwards. The demand curve also displays the relationship between the price of the product and the quantity demanded. You know that the price is recorded on the vertical axis and the quantity demanded is recorded on the uh, horizontal axis. All right, let's talk about substitute goods now. According to the law of demand, if the price of the product increases, uh, assuming that all other factors remain the same, the quantity demanded of that product will decrease. So, what does that tell you? If the price of a certain product increases, its quantity demanded decreases. So it means people will switch and buy the substitute of that particular uh, product. So the quantity uh, demanded for the substitute goods is going to increase. Let's take an example of substitute goods. I've got Omo here. I also have surf. So if the price of Omo increases, the price increased, we expect that the quantity demanded will decrease. This is the law of demand. But then the quantity demanded for the substitute good increases. Why? Because there are some people who cannot afford this homo anymore. So they will shift from homo and buy self. So when the price of a good increases, its quantity demanded decreases. But then the quantity demanded for the substitute good is going to increase since the price is still the same. Note that the substitute goods are in competitive demand. Right, let us talk about this um, graphical. When the price of a substitute good increase, what happens graphically? I have a graph for the formal shoes and the graph for sneakers. Now, this is the demand curve for the shoes and I also have the demand curve for the sneakers. Right, the formal shoes cost 250 rand, the sneakers cost 240 rand. Now, if the price of the formal shoes increases to 300 right what happens next the quantity demanded will uh, decrease 
So there is an increase of the price of formal shoes from 250 rand to 300. That caused a change of quantity demanded from 150 to 100. So this is the effect of the increase in price. Also, we have a movement along the demand curve. So it moved from this point to this point. Now, what happens next after that? Assuming that the price of the sneakers did not increase, some people cannot afford to buy the formal shoes anymore. So the quantity of the sneakers will increase, causing a shift of the demand curve from D to D1. There was a change from 100 to 180 um, sneakers. Now there is a shift of the demand curve from D to D1. Okay, let us look at the decrease in price. What is going to happen graphically? I have the demand curve for formal shoes and demand curve for um, sneakers. Okay, here is the price and quantity of the formal shoes um, that were demanded. And this one is the price and the quantity of sneakers that were uh, demanded. Okay. Now, if the price of uh, formal shoes decreases from 280 to 230, okay, what is going to happen next? The quantity demanded for formal shoes is going to increase. So we also have a movement along the uh, demand curve from this point to this point. Since there is no change in the price of sneakers, we expect the shift of the demand curve because there is a decrease in the quantity demanded. The quantity demanded changed from 180 to 100. So there is a shift of the demand curve. Let us look at the more complicated graph now. Um, I have the demand curve for OMO and the demand curve for SERF. And the supply curve for OMO, the supply curve for SERF. Okay. If the price increases, that is from uh, P to P1, we expect the reduction in the quantity demanded, that is from Q to Q1. But then this also causes a shift of the supply curve from S to S1. Why? Because the producers are not going to produce goods that are not going to be bought. They are going to produce what is being demanded. So from this equilibrium uh, point that we had, we have a new equilibrium point. So this is what is going to happen in the long run. Okay. But then what happens to self? We are going to have an increase in the quantity of uh, self. The quantity demanded uh, increases from Q to Q1. All right. The reason is the price increased here. So some people cannot afford to buy this OMO anymore. So what they are now doing is to shift from OMO to SEF. Because these are substitute goods. If you can't afford to wash your clothes with OMO, you will be able to afford SEF because the price did not change. But then, does it end there? Just an increase in the quantity 
demanded for self. No, there is a shift of the demand curve from D to D1. There is an increase in the quantity demanded for self. However, this will cause an increase in the price of self in the long run. If you keep on buying a product, you push the price up. This marks the end of the lesson. Thank you for watching. Don't miss the next lesson and feel free to request a video of any topic of your choice and consider it done. This uh, topic was actually um, requested by a grade 11 learner who found it difficult to understand. I hope this learner is going to understand this topic.